come back, glad to meet you all again, and in this episode, I would like to continue what we left to before. So in the previous episode, I talk about how I create functions inside my main and player BP for the leg IK setup. So in here, I would like to play around with my anim graph, so we could track our character's foot and hip downward or upward based on the impact point of set. So I would like to go to my anim graph, even graph. I'm BP, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to my MBP in graphs and I would like to put it in sequence here. And I would like to drag and drop my character and get um right foot offset, left foot offset, and the have offset. Next thing I would like to multiply my right foot offset with minus one. Then gonna make a vector and promote it as a variable here. So um the reason why I just let left it like this, left it connected with the x-axis is because for this assets, for paradigm's assets, um, the upward axis for the character's bone is x-axis. Okay, so make sure that you guys check um, your very own character's bone's um, axis because what you see in here is the word access. Now I would like to do the same thing with the left foot, but I would not multiply it with minus one. And as for the hip offset, I'm just gonna simply promote it into variable as a pelvis offset okay uh, we're good to go so let's go to our anime graph let's save cache and then I'm gonna use cache um, for locomotion and Local to component. Cause in here I would like to use transform modify bone to track our character's foot and head downward or upward. Okay, so in here at uh, the bone to modify, let's um choose our IK foot bone and as the translation mode um let's change it into add to existing and the space into bone space do like this and I would like to do the same thing with um the left and the pelvis but you have to make sure that you change the bone to modify and as for the pelvis I would like to split my translation and just gonna connect my pelvis offset to the translation X and then here I'm gonna use like IK and I'm gonna and I'm gonna add uh, two elements here one for our left foot and one for our right foot so what we need to do in here is to fill in our ik and fk foot bone ok 
Okay, we are good to go now, and let's check this up. And well, it works. And just like what I promised in the previous episode, I would like to show to you guys, um, like a few reason why I added something in my food ID functions. So let's go to our construction script and in here the reason why I added another additional trace and then as for the um the food IK functions the reason why I add this um calculation is because if I just simply use um the z axis value from this subtraction the result would be gonna like this so it's like our characters lift up in a, for a certain value here um, I don't know the reason why um, so if you guys know what caused this and um, if you guys have the solution please comment down below and I will paint your comments so it will add um, another uh, explanation about this certain thing and now for the next episode I would like to talk about um, our foot rotation so it's still in the um, like I guess setup and as for the foot rotation as you guys could see in here, when it comes to an uneven ground like this, our character's foot is break through the ground. And of course, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!